And the winner for the Outstanding Individual Award is Seema Ghani. Actually, to be honest, I wasn't expecting it. Just right at the last minute, I got really, really nervous. Uh, it's um, it's an honor to be uh, uh, nominated amongst uh, such wonderful group of people. Uh, not just the people that were nominated in my category, but also all the NGOs and all of you guys that are here. Um, can I ask you for a round of applause for all of them? Whether we uh, are lucky enough to get one of these uh, or not, um, you know, um, uh, I can name you know hundreds of people that I know working not just in Afghanistan but other other countries that probably don't even see the face of such an award, uh, but they're doing a great job. Uh, thank you very much uh, to you, to your organisation, to the judges. To all of you to have uh, uh, basically you know nominated me and then you know um, chosen me as, as a as a winner, I'm humbled honestly. I um, I thank my colleagues um, at not just Hand in Hand in Afghanistan but also in London, um, other organisations I've worked with. Um, I thank my parents, my mum and dad, who've been uh, the biggest supporters. Uh, they're here with me. When uh, the government changed, I decided to go back, and they didn't blink. They supported me all the way, and you know, sending his daughter to a country that was still in conflict is, is a brave thing to do. Thank you very much. I thank all my friends that uh, made my stay in Afghanistan uh, easier. It's not easy uh, to be living in, in such conditions, particularly as the situation is changing um, all the time. And uh, more than um, anyone, I think I should thank those beneficiaries that we're trying to reach and help. Uh, they inspire me, uh, and I'm sure they, as they inspire all of you, uh, wherever you're reaching and wherever you're working. At Hand in Hand, we're trying to, uh, we believe in, in helping people to help themselves. Uh, and that's where the whole thing starts. In Afghanistan, that's what we're trying to do. And we couldn't have done it alone. Uh, we have all of you, the international community, the international agencies, the donor community, uh, that's holding our hand, um, and that's needed. I know there are discussions, rumors in the West for how long. I think for, for a while, uh, a little longer, uh, we need um, a holding hands. Um, things change, but unfortunately, at the same time, the insurgency is getting stronger. We have achievements, but at the same time, challenges are there. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, of course, you know, uh, every little step helps. There are people like me, um, in Afghanistan, people that are trying to go back to their home country, uh, but there's not a lot of us. That's why we need the help of people like yourselves. The younger generation in Afghanistan, there's a new group of thinkers that's coming up, uh, but they can't do it, of course, without you. Um, at the same time, I think we, we noticed in, in one of our films, um, I could see some of the faces that looked like Afghan refugees. Um, because of the conflict, there's unemployment, there's insecurity, um, there are also economic migrants. What Hand in Hand does is to create jobs so that people don't have to leave their homes. Uh, we hope to reduce those numbers that are on the boards, at least from Afghanistan. Um, and for that one, organizations such as Hand in Hand, the donors, the partners, all of them are actually needed uh, to support. Uh, we need to create an environment in the country where there is economic development and prosperity so that there is hopefully no need for you guys to always hold our hands but to come as tourists and visit our country. I thank you all very much. Thank you.